Hello from the Crystal Coast. This is Pastor Kevin. and It's Thursday, October the 22nd. I want to share with you today a couple of verses from the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12. In fact, these are uh, some of my most favorite verses in all of Scripture. Verses 1 and 2, the Bible says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely. Let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. So just a couple of words of encouragement to you today from this uh, passage. The first one is, is this, <clears throat> that we're, we're encouraged to lay aside uh, certain things. Some of them actually may be good things. He calls them weights, every weight. That's not necessarily an immoral thing or a sinful thing. It may be something that's good but it may be something that is weighing us down, holding us back from faithfully following God and accomplishing His will in our lives. So we're encouraged to lay aside good things and bad things, not just sinful things, but sometimes even good things. And I, I couldn't help but think that the most difficult leadership any of us will ever exercise in this life is self leadership. Uh, just exercising self discipline, leading our own lives uh, as we seek to follow to follow God and, and serve Him. So that that's the first thing. The second thing he mentions is he encourages us to run with endurance. Run with endurance. And when I when I read that. Uh, the thought I have is just keep going, just keep going. Uh, for uh, a good part of, of this year, almost all of this year, I have been working out with a group called F3. Uh, it's uh, an organization that is for men. They have daily workouts early in the mornings. Uh, it's free. It's always uh, outdoors. It's actually led by the men who who show up, and uh, it always in the workouts always in with this circle of trust, where <clears throat> we uh, encourage one another, pray for one another, and we do a workout on Monday mornings over at the Beach Mart at. Uh, Emerald Isle and uh, Coast Guard Road, which is basically a run. We 22, mini, 22 minutes out, 22 minutes back. And here's the thing I've noticed about that. I always run farther and faster when I'm actually running with someone else. When I'm, when I'm running by myself, on those Monday mornings, it's easy for me to to just stop and, and walk for a period of time. But when I'm running with someone else, uh, before I know it, I've gone further than I've ever gone. I've run at a faster pace than, I, than I've ever run. And so what is true about um, physical exercise? I think is equally true when it comes to our spiritual exercise, the development of our faith in Jesus. We will go farther in our obedience to Jesus. We will grow faster in the character of Jesus if we're actually doing that in community with others. Run with endurance. And then here's the final one. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. He is the founder. He is the perfecter of our faith. So what does that, what does that mean, to look to him? Well, it, it means fundamentally to, to trust him. We're going to depend upon him.
upon him. It means that, that we're going to follow him. What, what we see him doing in Scripture, how we see him relating to people, uh, how the decisions that he makes, the values that he demonstrates, we're going we're gonna to follow in his steps. And then, and then as we live our lives today, uh, to look to Jesus means that we're actually going to expect him to show up in our lives. Uh, sometimes that's in a big way. Sometimes it's it maybe even in small ways that uh, we would think are maybe not that not that significant. So lay aside good things and and bad. Uh, run with endurance. Just just keep going, and then and then expect Jesus to show up uh, in your life, even today. Let me pray for you. Father, we we come to you today and we hear these words of encouragement. And you, Lord, you know, Lord, that it's so easy for us uh, to get weighed down in this life. Um, sometimes our, our our issue is uh, sinful habits, sinful decisions, just that that tendency to uh, be independent. Um, from you, and to to, to want to go our own way, but sometimes, Lord, it's, it's good things in our lives uh, that that even though they might not be sinful, they become harmful in terms of our really being um, committed to to walking with you in this life. Lord, we don't want even the good things to get in the way of our relationship with you. So. Uh, Lord, help us to develop endurance in our faith and help us to be an encouragement in the development of an enduring faith in the lives of others. And then we just, Jesus, we expect you to show up. We, uh, we need you to show up in our lives. And we're going to trust by faith that you, that you will. And uh, we're going to give you thanks for doing that. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Well, don't forget about our church family uh, gathering this coming Sunday evening at uh, 6 p.m. Uh, we're going to be uh, looking at our proposed budget for 2021. And then we'll also have uh, the opportunity to select some new deacons to serve our church family in the coming years. Uh, this coming Sunday morning, we're going to be starting a new series of messages entitled One Race, uh, and it's a series that's going to be focused on addressing the racial tensions that we've actually seen boil over, over all, all around our country um, in recent months. Until then, let me just say thank you for the ways that you are loving all of our community like never before.